to our channel today we are diving into the world of power electronics specifically exploring the SEPIC converter if you are interested in understanding how this nifty circuit works and its application you are in the right place so let's jump right into it mm, uh, basically first thing uh, what is a SEPIC converter well SEPIC stands for single ended primary inductance converter uh, it's a type of uh, DC converter in the previous videos uh, uh, we already discussed the buck converter the boost converter the buck boost converter and the cup converter so what makes it special is the ability to step up or step down voltages efficiently while providing isolation between the input and output as you see in the previous videos that uh, in some cases there is no isolation between the input and outputs the main uh, reason or special ability of using SEPIC converter is that it provides isolation between input and output now here is the simplified circuit as you can see uh, on your screen in this circuit basically we have an inductor the first part is uh, relevant to you can say uh, cook converter as we discussed and the second one you can say simply a capacitor or resistor this diode how it's working now let me explain it to you if you will see that uh, when the duty cycles comes the MOSFETs allow the current to pass and uh, this inductors uh, limit the current and uh, this is also charging this capacitor now when the current comes here some of the currents will be ground the other will charge this inductor this inductor will when this inductor will be charged it will be charged this capacitor also or make this diode a forward bias when this capacitor and this inductors will make this forward bias then this capacitors will be go to charge now this capacitor will be discharged using this resistor let me show you to slow the speed of the current or let me increase or let me check out so where it's stable okay you can see that what's it, it's happening uh, i have uh, low the simulation speeds so that's why it's looking like this now you can see here easily that's what's it's happening here now this capacitor is discharging using this part and this inductor is charging using this path now it's clear to you and this inductor is also making this diode forward bias and also this cup and also charging this capacitor once this capacitor is charged it will be discharged using this load and the remaining currents the higher current which is not resistive resisted by this resistance it will be again charge and discharge these capacitors and inductors and the remaining will be ground basically this is the principles of SCPIC converters uh, I hope uh, you know that uh, it is not like unlike uh, traditional converters uh, the SCPIC has a unique topology that allows it uh, to handle input voltages higher or lower than the output voltages uh, we can achieve this through using a coupled inductor and uh, capacitors as you can see here we have a coupled inductor and capacitors so <clears throat> this is the method and uh, both both of these capacitors and inductors are enable energy transfer between the input and the output now if you will see that uh, the during the on cycle the switch is closed and allowing the input voltage to charge the inductors as you can see okay and uh, now what's the applications and benefits the SCPIC converters uh, basically use uh, in the LED drivers battery chargers and renewable energy systems and because of its uh, uh, isolation between the input and output uh, its capability is both supervise the both step up and step but down functionality in a single circuit so it's make this value valuable 
um, scenarios where the input and output voltage is very to need to be isolated so that's it for today i hope you enjoy the video if you learn something please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you